Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Crumplebottom University. Last time, after spending a few days together, Cleo got engaged to the love of her life, Remington. This episode, Cleo's going to celebrate her engagement by having a big party at Pastafina. In other news, other than graduating, Zara completed all of her goals. So it's time for her to live a life of leisure. Just kidding, Zara would never do that. Anyway, let's go see what our favorite girls are up to. Okay, it is morning time here in the house. Nice snowy morning. Girls all need to get their homework and everything done before the weekend. Cleo has not told anyone yet that she's engaged. She's going to announce that she's engaged at her engagement party and she's going to choose one of the girls to be her maid of honor. For Cleo's wedding, I'm gonna have her choose um, Zara to be the maid of honor, but don't worry about Blair. She will get her chance because she's going to be Zara's maid of honor. And Cleo is going to be Blair's maid of honor, so they'll all get a chance. Zara needs to work on her final presentation. They have five days until their semester is over though, so they have plenty of time, but it's good to get these things done before the weekend. Shout out to all my procrastinators out there. Of course, everyone is studying hard while Ashwin plays The Sims. Oh, uh -huh. Wix Pudaka. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Look who's here, Benvolio. We should have a uh, dorm mate reunion party here. That would be a lot of fun. Definitely need to do that before we graduate. I think Olive is getting along pretty well with her new roommates. <gasps> what? What the? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh my god. Uh, anyway, yeah, she's getting along really well with her new roommates, other than that incident. Okay, they're dancing together, so hopefully they worked out whatever just happened. It made them act that way. Look at that, Zara's presentation looks great, and she can go present it before her class in two hours. Oh no, it looks like Salem lost the fight. Blair isn't feeling too good after watching her friend lose that fight. <laughs> oh yeah, he looks like he has like a concussion or something. Man, Olive is evil. Look at her. I love her. But Blair really wants to romance Juno. <laughs> Juno is socially awkward if you don't remember. <laughs> of course, Cleo has the moodlet right now, feeling close, from feeling close with someone nearby. Yeah, they're feeling real close right now. Alright, now get out of each other. Uh -huh. Go home and do your homework. Cleo is on the phone with her dad. Her dad does not know that she's engaged. Her parents are going to find out tomorrow at her engagement party at Pastafina, the best Italian restaurant in the world. Of course we have Ashwin just watching Cleo, working on her assignment wistfully. Ashwin, you have a girlfriend. Get it together. Okay, Blair's out of class and at 5 o'clock p.m. Cleo's gonna head over to work. And she's going to bring Blair and Blair's little movie club with her because they're gonna watch the TV season premiere tonight. Oh, look at what Ashwin said. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. She'll eat some waffles before going to work. 
made by her fiance Remington. No one here knows that she's engaged. Will Ashwin cry when he finds out? Stay tuned. Okay, it is five o'clock. It's time to head over to work. Here we are back at the dive and Cleo will get to work. And our besties, Yuna and Joanna, are here to watch the TV show premiere with us. And it looks like the rest of the bar is watching too. Whoa, Cleo's made 100 drinks. I think to celebrate, we're gonna end our shift seven minutes early and do some skydiving. <laughs> and actually, I think this was Cleo's fifth overall shift which means that she doesn't uh, have to work anymore to um, work towards her goal. But if we need money, then <laughs> obviously she needs to work. And we are back home. If you're wondering, one of the reasons why Remington isn't moving in with Cleo, even though they are engaged, is because he lives at his fraternity house already. So. He can't move out of there. Oh, and speaking of roommates, look who came to visit. It's Ryder. Oh, and Shay is here too. This is like a reunion. Oh, and wait, what? Ruby's here too. This is actually, this is so funny. I was just saying that we should have a reunion and now they're all here. Oh, and Shay and Salem are wearing the same sweater. Oh my gosh, why is there a party going on in our house right now? Zara should get close to Ruby and Ryder now because, spoiler, they're all going to be living in the same neighborhood when they graduate. Alright you two, calm down. Cleo's had enough of this, she needs to go to bed. Maybe the dorm has like a gas leak or something and that's why everyone is staying over here. Shay is here. Shay doesn't even like us and he's here. Oh, I was just gonna say I am shocked that Zara is still awake, but it looks like she's trying to go to bed, but Olive is stopping her. <laughs> All the girls are asleep except for Blair. I think that I have been, you know, making her go to bed at a responsible time. And I don't know if that is what Blair would do. She's feeling playful and I think she might want to make a prank call. <laughs> Who should she make a prank call to? <gasps> oh, I know, Zara's dad. What's that? Speak up. I can't hear you. Actually, I can hear you and I know you're playing a prank on me. Wow, we can't get anything past him. All right, we just ordered a pizza. We're going to call everyone to the meal. Oh, look, Ruby changed her hair. She has the Joanna hairstyle. Oh, and Blair is making waffles while she eats pizza. Oof, I really want to get some pizza recolors because that is hideous. 
Okay, Belair has stayed up late enough. She's gonna uh, take care of Hamlet and then go to bed. Good morning, it is 6 a.m. and Cleo's up early because she's gonna have the busiest day of her life. So other than her engagement party, which is tonight, she has all of her uh, schoolwork to do and she has a game day party, three o'clock. So she'll start her day out with a nice healthy breakfast. Okay, maybe that's less healthy than I thought, but <laughs> I guess there's some fruit on there. It's time for the other girls to wake up too. Blair is just making some coffee. She has one hour until class and she needs to make some coffee, eat some breakfast, and then be on her way. This is such a typical college experience. Everyone is upset about the mess, but no one is cleaning up. <laughs> Now Cleo really, really needs to work on her term paper and her presentation so she can just focus on celebrating her engagement. He's in a row. Ah. Oh, Gosha. Do they have to have their conversation right here? <laughs> Wonder why we haven't paid Ashwin to do our homework for us. Oh, it's nice that Ashwin and Olive are getting along again. Hopefully Olive won't have to sleep on the couch anymore. <laughs> that was weird. Cool, Cleo finished a draft of her term paper. She can edit it and get it really good before she submits it. Great, Blair's paper is looking good. She can submit it. And then she can get back to actually painting. She hasn't made a painting in a long time. Whoa, I love that painting. That's really cool. Oh, great. And Cleo's paper is looking good too. She can submit that and then maybe she could relax for a little while because she's feeling sad. She has a few more hours before she's going to the game day party. And she's going right from the game day party to her engagement dinner. I'm so nervous for her to announce that she's engaged to all of her friends and her family, but hopefully they will all be supportive. Oh, and while Juno's here, we should give her the socks we knit for her. We forgot to do that last time. <laughs> oh no, Olive's back on the couch. Wonder if her and Ashwin are having another fight. Oh, looks like Blair's mom is calling. Hey honey, it's mom. When are you gonna come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while, tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? Uh, why don't you come over right now? Then maybe we could all go to the game day party together. Maybe this would be a good opportunity for her to bond with our fiance. Cause they did not get along well last time they met. And there she is. Whoa, our mom is hot. Okay, it's time for our fiance and mom to meet again. Let's 
hope it goes well. Look at how far apart they're all standing. Oh good, Juno's getting closer. Alright, they all seem to be getting along well. Oh, and it is way past our time to go to the celebration. Let's get our butts over there now. Now I see where Blair gets it from. Uh-oh, Lobster Larry's here. Did it on him. Oh, and Blair's over here cross-stitching at the function. Cleo's so close to becoming a senior member and that's her last like major goal. That's why I'm trying to get her to do the most spirit core things this weekend. Because after that, we only have one week left of college. We have one hour until our engagement party. <laughs> So we need to get as much taunting done as possible. I feel bad though, because as she's taunting people, her uh, reputation is going down. <gasps> Cleo is now a senior member of the Brightchester Spirit Corps. She's been giving the You Bright Dragon mascot outfit and the Brightchester signature ping pong table. Dragon Pong! Oh, what a great way to end this party. Oh man, I am just thrilled for Cleo. Okay, let's head over to our engagement dinner. Oh no. <laughs> it's raining really hard during Cleo's engagement dinner. We decided to have it at this nice pasta restaurant called Pasta Fina. And uh, we decided to have it here in Tartosa because, I don't know, maybe there are some uh, cute little starter houses in the area that some people might want to live in. You know, people don't know why they're here. They just think they're at this party for Cleo. They don't know that she's engaged, so she'll have a sip of wine and then go ahead and announce her engagement to her friends and family. <laughs> also, while we're here, we actually wanted to ask Zara to be our maid of honor. Oh. All right, and let's uh, fill up the banquet table and make sure everyone is eating. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now Zara is going to make a toast to her bestie. <gasps> oh my gosh, Devin got struck by lightning. I don't think anyone heard that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Zara, Zara's mom is here and she got struck by lightning. I'm not saying she deserved it, but God's timing is always right. I almost forgot uh, I had Blair bring her camera so she can take some pictures. This guy got struck by lightning too. Oh my gosh, Sloane got struck by lightning. <gasps> we have to go help him. Come on, Sloane, let's get you inside. Zara, as the maid of honor, your new commitment is to make sure that no one else gets struck by lightning. I feel like th that's pretty normal maid of honor duty. Oh, and the bartender's gone. All we have now is Sloane. I think the bartender ran away because he was scared. All right, the bartender's gone. It's up to Zara to tend the bar. 
Zara looks so comfortable making everyone drink. So oh my god, meant so. Alright, so uh, that was a very um, eventful party. We'll never forget our engagement party. Hopefully this isn't like a premonition of how our marriage is gonna be. <laughs> but I think that the night is coming to an end, so we should all head on home. Oh, when there the bartender's coming back, he's like, oh, I just had to run an errand while there was a huge party. <laughs> Okay, we made it home. Blair's about to pee her pants, but no one died. Oh, and I guess Cleo was feeling inspired to paint. I'm not gonna stop her, but that's very random. She looks so beautiful, like a southern belle on her balcony, painting. Only the moonlight guiding her. Where's the moon? Oh, there it is. Oh, Olive is actually cleaning. Maybe she's not evil. It's time to feed our hamster and then go to bed. I don't even think, was Ashwin at our engagement party? Or did he, was he like protesting it? I don't even remember seeing him there. I feel like he would have made a scene. Oh, and we got a really cute picture of Cleo and Remington. Oh, they're such a cute couple. I can't wait for them to get married and have many kids together and just live their lives together. They are just too cute for words. And there's Ashwin. He's like, oh, I, I had a prior engagement. It was crying. All right, it is 6 a.m. <laughs> and Blair is up bright and early. She is gonna feed Hamlet. And while they were all sleeping, I actually Googled it and found out that you can have more than one uh, Sim of Honor. So I'm gonna have Cleo, when she wakes up, ask Blair to be her second Sim of Honor. I think that means that Remington won't be able to have a Sim of Honor, but who cares about him? This is Cleo's wedding. Speaking of weddings, you we can't forget about uh, Blair and Juno's wedding. I don't think they're going to have an engagement party uh, like Cleo and Remington did, but maybe when they graduate they'll have like a nice dinner to celebrate their love or something. Blair is going to make everyone breakfast and coffee before they wake up. Ooh, and maybe we could have like a big uh, roommate breakfast together. Other girls are waking up, they smell the breakfast that Blair just made and they're running downstairs and getting their servings. I think now might be a good time for Cleo to ask Blair to be her Sim of Honor. Oh, yay! And we'll have Blair do an Uno reverse and ask Cleo to be her Sim of Honor. Ugh, I'm sick of this. This PDA in my Christian save file. And later today, speaking of PDA, Zara is going to go on a little date with Sloan. She's just been so happy with all of the romance that's been happening around her. I want her and Sloan to have some special time together. Man, the next time we play with our girls, they'll be in their last semester of college. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. 
Okay, it's time for Zara to start getting ready for her hot date. Okay, Zara, you look perfect. <laughs> Gonna go on a hot date to the Lagoon Science Center. Here we are, aw. He's bored, how could he be bored at the science museum? Well, I guess we better go in and start learning. Zara is so excited, she's sprinting inside. Maybe we can uh, grab a cup of coffee for Sloane as a reward for <laughs> coming with us. Charm with Toonie. Aww. Oh, she got up to sit next to him. <laughs> They could woohoo in the telescope, but Zara is saving her first woohoo for marriage and they're not even engaged yet. All right, and now we're just gonna walk by the river and just, uh, you know, get a little romance on. Oh, and there's Burgerville, which reminds me, we have to go on a triple date again soon. It's been a while. My god, could this boy walk any slower? It's almost dark outside. Oh. Oh. Banya. Oh, no so. Okay, we're going to give Sloane a little kiss and then say goodbye. Woo! Okay, goodbye, Sloan. See you soon. Uh, when we're back home with our sweet memories of Sloan and the full bladder. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end the episode, actually. Uh, it was such a fun one. Um, no one died, which is great. Can't wait until next time they'll go on a triple date and enjoy their final semester in college. Can you believe it? Their last semester? Well, we're going to definitely make the most of it and enjoy every second of it before we graduate. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, being on this wild ride with me. I'm having so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye. Love ya.